Welcome to the Daily Dot Esports Twitch Talk. We will be live every single week with two special guests playing a little bit of games and having a great chat. This is my co-host Ian Barker. Hey guys, it's <laughs> Ian. <laughs> and this week we have Potato and Swiftor. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I thought the mics were still muted. Yeah. We're alive. When we... um, can we do a retake? Can we just restart the whole stream? Or... Yeah, this, yeah, this yeah we'll just start, we'll just start over. over. <laughs> can I get a beer or something? Just, uh... oh, we're oh, we're li- okay. Oh, we're so, live. Uh, oh, 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 we are live. How are you guys doing today? I, I am tired, but I'm doing great. That's I'm, good. I'm, I'm good. I've had my time to get the caffeine into my system, so I'm pretty mm. excited to be hanging out with you guys today. Oh, yeah, you guys are professional it. streamers, so you've been up for at least two hours uh, by now, right? <laughs> uh, 90 minutes still counts, right? <laughs> we'll, round yeah. up. we'll round up, certainly. There we go. I just finished a six-hour stream, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm good. Oh, you, you make us eight. all look bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll sleep. Really Mr. Quick. Gets up before <laughs> noon over here. Okay, <laughs> Rotato, <laughs> we get it. You Open probably do your dishes too. All right. Yeah, okay. You know, early, early bird gets the worm or something like that at four in the morning. <laughs> that early shift, man. I don't know how you do it. I, I do the afternoon to like night thing, so I, I, I imagine just, that's pretty tough. I mean, I only do 10 a.m. Right, so I'm not like I'm not like masochistic. Like I couldn't wake up at six and stream. That would just be insane. No, thank you. <laughs> what, what do you what do you do? You just roll out of the bed and just kind of hop in the chair and it's like go time. That would be me if I had to do 10 a.m. I'd be um, like, all right, guys, I'll brush my no, teeth I'm, afterwards. I'm actually like I'm actually <laughs> usually up at like seven or eight, oh, um, and and then I, I go to bed at like three in the morning or four in the morning. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't get a lot of sleep. It doesn't usually happen too much. I <laughs> uh, enjoy your lo- long long life of 40 years. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't worry. I can feel my heart aging with every every time I wake up. <laughs> just take a multivitamin. You'll be. You'll be fine. <laughs> It's just miraculous. Lots of vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. Uh, now, you guys stream a variety of things. Uh, Swifter, you mainly play COD. Uh, yes, that's, uh, that's my yeah. meat and potatoes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, why COD? Um, well, I, I'm not good at video games in general, so I have to find a way, some way to be entertaining in some way. And uh, Call of Duty is a really easy way to kind of like uh, get people together in a controlled environment to do like different things. So I don't, I don't go around really shooting people. I, we organize little mini games like uh, like hide and seek or like you know uh, pickup line competitions, that kind of thing. So it's just a really easy medium. I can bring people into the game, kick them out. You know, everyone <laughs> likes the weapons. It's just, it's just a cool kind of uh, channel to do it through. Okay. Okay. And uh, Jay, you mm-hmm. stream a huge variety of games. Today you were playing Unravel. How was that? Mm. That's, um, that game is amazing. Like, it is absolutely incredible with, with no other definition of the word. Um, it's just really stupidly good. I love it. What, what is it that you like in particular? Um, I mean, the game, is, the game is absolutely beautiful. But, like, it's, like it's, almost, it's almost like you can feel that, like, somebody poured their heart out into the game, like, it really meant something to someone. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like the music is great, the the puzzles are great, like I'm a real sucker for puzzles, but it's also just kind of this thing, like you're just kind of, you jump into the game and you're along for the ride, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good game so far. It just got really dark and depressing though, so. All truly beautiful <laughs> games uh, these days, or where's my mm. fucking camera? Uh, all beautiful <laughs> games these days uh, seem to do that. They seem to, they seem to sort of kick you in the pants and remind you uh, you're an adult and uh, yeah. things die. Welcome to the real world, asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I didn't play video is. games to remember my life. I played it to get away from it. Like, yeah, escapism. Yeah. Whatever happened to that? Yeah, not anymore. Not with this game. I mean, no, it's like it's like really go happy, but then there's like these really sad moments, and like you wouldn't think that like a piece of yarn with little slanted eyes, like slanted down, like he, like he's sad, and he has no mouth, right? So it's just the eyes, and he kind of like shivers over, and then your heart just kind of like rips in half at the sight of that. You would never think that would happen, but. It did. I was, I was, I was Bible thumped the entire time. Oh. 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 Now I'm Bible thumped. I know. I was like, I can't oh. even say anything. Yeah. Sarah so, sad. Sad. <laughs> so, what games are you guys excited for this year then? Division. Oh. 
The vision. Uh, yeah, that mm. that is high on the list too. Absolutely. And that's that's so close too. It's like less than a month away. Next week the open beta starts. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Oh man, that's gonna be good. <laughs> that's where he's like, Oh yeah, I forgot that. Um, <laughs> it's like I have to clear my calendar now. It's like wow, open beta. But um besides that, uh the new Deus Ex um later mm-hmm. this year, pretty excited for that. And um Oh man, uh Dark Souls three. How about how about you, Potato? Anything else oh, on your list? Dark Souls 3, man. I'm, yeah. in I'm in there. I'm just going <laughs> to swan dive into that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dark Souls 3 and No Man's Sky. I really want No Man's Sky. Do you think that's really coming this year, man? I don't I, know, dude. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know, think it's coming for like know. the next eight years, years but I'm going to yeah. hope. I'm going to cling to it and hope. Um, that's. I mean, that's pretty much it. There's like there's Horizon Zero Dawn or whatever. Pretty much anything they showed at E3 is what I'm excited for. Anything. I'm down for it. There, there was a big display at uh, PAX South for a game called Dreadnought. Yeah, um, that game's I, d- awesome. I did not get to play that. Tell, tell us a little bit about that game because uh, uh, I saw a lot of people around that booth. And frankly, I think it was the only booth at PAX South that was actually bigger uh, than the Twitch booth. It was just this giant. <laughs> oh, it was massive. Thing. It was like half the convention center. Was, <laughs> <laughs> South was such an opportunity for, like, you know, even like a medium sized publisher to go in there and make like a huge impact because there's just not much competition. But um, Dreadnought definitely, like, everyone remembers Dreadnought, but it's cool. It's just like a five on five. You're not piling these tiny little ships. You're tiling like you know star destroyer level like ships, and you're taking on these other team like the other team of five. You just feel like an absolute beast when you're playing it. It's it's a great feeling. Yeah, it's it's such a good game. It's very very hard too because like um, <laughs> I don't know if you've if you've ever played like Eve Online, but it's pretty much like a simpler Eve Online. You know that game's all about. It's it's a little hard to make Eve and, Online more complicated. I, I mean, yeah, that's, that's true. Eve Online doesn't have like a uh, what is it? A difficulty curve. It has a difficulty cliff. Yeah. <laughs> the difficulty Everest. But it's pretty much like Eve Online if it was simplified. But it's still so hard. Oh my god. Uh, I've also heard I, I Eve Online Xbox. described as uh, uh, a spreadsheet with spaceships. Oh, yeah, spreadsheets, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, it pretty much is, yeah. <laughs> They've got that VR offshoot now, though, right? Like Eve, Eve Valkyrie, I think. I have not had oh, a chance really? to play that. Yeah. It pretty cool. I was, I was pretty interested in that. The PlayStation VR-like solution, I guess, that's like a flagship title for it, I believe. They huh. just shut down Dust514, and I think they're like launching the Valkyrie one instead of it or something. Because Dust514 was the, the FPS version of it. Right, I remember um, that part. I didn't and, realize and were... I, that, that just kind of flopped. Oh like, man, that's kind of a bummer. Oh, terribly. So they, I think they just shut it down like a month ago. So, oh man, that's yeah, sad. sad. It feels because, bad. Like, okay, talk about uh, video games reminding you that there's a real world out there. Like that's that's. I think that's the worst for me is when I get really immersed in this really you know creative universe and i have played with this game with all my friends and then they pull the plug on it because the developers ran out of money that's always yeah. uh that's a painful yeah. reality we have to deal with now that we're adults right um <clears throat> you uh uh swifter tell me uh you play call of duty and right. uh, one of the interesting things that i've noticed is uh, a lot there's a lot of popular streamers out there that sort of cross over with esports and uh uh, Call of Duty always seems to have sort of lived on the periphery of esports. It has one hand or one foot in the competitive, uh, you know, side of things because it's an extremely competitive game. It's got right. another foot in the more casual audience. Um, what has that been like uh, tapping into the, the the COD universe? What what is the crowd like over there um, in, in a community that really doesn't cross over into the League of Legends and and Dota communities all that much? It's 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 like a double-edged sword. On one side. There are people who expect it to be a game of like pure skill. So I'll have audience members who kind of come in and expect to see someone like, if you have an audience, then you must be good at the game. And I'm not good at the game, so there's expectation that you <laughs> you know how to shoot a gun. Like if there's a guy in front of you, you can probably kill him really quickly, which which I can't do. I can aim for my life. <laughs> but on the other side, since it has that casual portion, there are people who like recognize it as being, oh, like this is like a you know uh, a signature video game, especially the new video games. And it's an opportunity to kind of introduce people to games, and you know like. There's, there's a chance to kind of grab that casual audience and show them there's another side to it, which is what I like to do. So on one side, there's a lot of trolls as a result of that competitive, like, you know, aspect of it. But on the other side, there's also an opportunity to kind of introduce new people to the game and other things you can do with it. So two sides to it. And so you've got and, – and I remember even before uh, competitive Call of Duty was like this huge, huge thing like it is now with the Activision League and, and even before that with, with MLG, there were enough angry people in that game – uh, who were unafraid to call you a scrub and just run all over you? There. Yeah, they're, they're, they've always been there, Thank always you. will be. It's just you know, online gaming, at least of that caliber, you yeah. know, yep, it's so accessible. Yeah, 
<laughs> but you just deal with it, right? Mm -hmm. Thick skin. <laughs> Are there any games that you guys like to play for fun, but you would never really stream? Um, yes, on my side. Uh, more because of like the stress of it. Uh, like puzzle games, for example, The Witness. I know there are uh -huh. other broadcast mm. players who's play. I like he's yeah. played it. Like uh, I would not, uh, only because of just like I want to take my time, and I know that mm -hmm. people would just be very like, "Oh, I figured that out in like ten seconds. How did you not get that?" And it's like, <laughs> ah, let me just enjoy the game. That's a game I feel like is a lot more like, let me take my time. Let me play that on my flight over, and mm. let me, you know. I, I would just get so stressed out. I'm very poor with my anger management. I hear you on that. Yeah, that game. That game is rough, man. That game makes you feel so stupid. And then you get that one guy. He's like, he's like, hey, you should, uh, you know, you know, left, right, four down. And then I remember I, in it, I got stuck on a puzzle for two hours, and we later found out it was bugged, and I couldn't oh. open it because of that. But I got stuck on it for two hours. Um, so about halfway through, I got really frustrated at like everybody in the chat, like 800 people telling me what the answer was. Yeah. So I told them that I was going to try their answer. And if they got it wrong, they had to subscribe. Um, so, I mean, that worked out really well. Oh, that's that awesome. great. That's, that's pretty cool. actually. <laughs> but, but other than that, no, I totally hear you. The puzzle games are, are so frustrating to stream because you get that one guy, just that one guy. And he doesn't he doesn't ever stop saying that. It's every every puzzle. He's like, oh, this is easy. I beat it yesterday. <laughs> we get it. You're a super genius. <laughs> yeah. you well, we got your own Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. it's a very different. It's very different to watch two different kinds of streamers because you look at the face cam obviously when when you watch people play games on Twitch. And if somebody can't beat uh, some uh, like a boss in Bloodborne, for example, it looks like shit, shit, shit. You know, there's like there's drama and there's tension, and you're you're sort of like in that moment with them. When somebody can't solve a puzzle game, this is what it looks like. That's exactly oh, yeah. what it is. You just, yeah, you're yeah. just like, staring. Yeah, like, yeah. what? Yeah. You're quiet like, for like 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, there's just, there's no drama in that, is there? <laughs> no, no. And, but, and then like, eventually you just kind of like, sit back after like 20 minutes of going silent. You're like, just a whisper, just, fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how, how do I do this? And then, like, oh, hey, I'm streaming. Oh, I forgot about that. My oh, bad. Yeah. I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah, whoopsies. So, I think uh, one game. Oh, continue. sorry, sorry. No, you continue. Oh, I was gonna say one game that I that I play off stream, but I would never stream uh, again. Uh, would be Diablo three. Oh. Really? Ooh. Why yeah. is that? Oh, I used to stream Diablo three, but like, we all know the Blizzard communities. Sometimes <laughs> they they could be very toxic, and uh, I just don't. I don't need to deal with that all the time, right? And it's not really like in my game uh, repertoire. So I kind of just you know keep that as like an offline thing. Because like when I play Diablo, I've got like my feet like up on the desk. I'm like way back you know, like a bag of cheetos and a mountain dew and i've got you know like my hands like this playing I, I can't really that that game is mindless i can't really stream it too much so what well, i'm still that. i'm still at the stage with diablo 3 where like if i get something that's like plus plus like 100 like strength it's like oh yeah. my god i'm a god and <laughs> and i think world of warcraft sort of instilled like inculcated the culture where like uh oh it's just 100 uh okay <laughs> 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 Whatever. Come back to me when you have a million, punk. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah right. The, everything has like they get an item that has like plus seven hundred on every stat, and they're like garbage. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this I, is shit. Like, I used to, I used to see that and be like, what the hell? And then like I got to that point, and I was like, oh, shh, whatever, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just got five DPS upgrade. I don't need that. Whatever. <laughs> That's one yeah, thing I do dread, though, just uh, like inventory management in games. I don't know how it is like if, if mm. like if you, when you play Fallout 4, but I'd spend like 15, 20 minutes just managing my yeah. inventory back in town, and it's like, and thank God people would actually stay, but I'm like, I don't want to be doing this. I want to go out and explore, but like I just I need to like reduce my weight, and it's yep. just like this terrible like why is it there? I don't understand why I have to like manage my inventory. Is it part of the fun? I I don't I, get it. It's like this, it. it's the gaming equivalent of doing your paperwork. Exactly. Like, exactly. Like paperwork. Right? Yeah. People got super angry at me when I played Fallout 4 because I would go back to my settlement and I would drop everything because I hated like when you when you stored things at your settlement, it wouldn't tell you like how many screws or how many aluminum you had. It would just be like you have a fan and you have a can. So I would <laughs> drop like 9,000 pounds worth of like aluminum cans and everything I picked up <laughs> and then go into the go into the building mode and individually scrap each one on stream for like <laughs> half an hour and I would just talk to them while I was doing it and people would come in like so angry and I would just sit there like yeah what's going on guys <laughs> 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 
<laughs> How's it going? And I, it was that was fun to me because of how angry people got. <laughs> but then it would be like, all right, I haven't done anything in an hour. I should probably go and do something now. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't mean to, I don't mean to stretch this topic out for for twenty minutes. But like, <laughs> I feel like part of the streaming experience is that like they, if, like for example, for me, if I can't afford a game immediately, I'm basically watching somebody play it because I can't. And mm -hmm. then you would develop this bizarre psychological attachment where you're like, don't do that thing because that's not what I would do. You know, yeah. like when I couldn't, yeah. when I couldn't afford Skyrim, I watched twenty people uh, do like a straight like bruiser Skyrim build, and I'd be like, no, I want to be a wizard. Damn it, why aren't you being a wizard? You know, <laughs> it's the people people use you as an opportunity to play a game they don't oh, yeah. own. I think that's where a lot of that frustration comes from. Oh, <laughs> ab absolutely. Living. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense in their mind, but you know, it doesn't mm -hmm. always make sense like the way we want to play. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking yeah. of a game that uh, a lot of people don't have yet. <laughs> Overwatch. <laughs> yes. Oh man, the, the hate salt is in real. The wound, there. Yeah. Oh. Now I know Swifty, you've been playing Overwatch a little bit. Yes. How, yeah. how have you found it? Oh, just so much fun! And now that they've added like the component where you like you you can level up and unlock boxes, the gambling element is kind of there. Like I, it's just really addicting. So uh, I think they did a great job. I'm, I'm really excited to get see it in in more hands. But there's still a lot of people, even like other Twitch partners, that I'm like, hey, you guys want to play the like. You douchebag! You know we don't have it yet, and I, and I didn't. But you know, it's like I want to play with more folks. But it, the, 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 yeah, the grime is there. It's a potato. Overwatch. Uh, so, um, how about Dark Souls Three? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten in, man. I'm like, I'm like one of those guys. Like, ah, I've been subscribed to World of Warcraft for ten years, and <laughs> I played Warcraft One. I still don't have, you know. I no, I, I didn't get it. I didn't sign up, and like. You know, I'm trying to give out um, as many blowjob or hugs as I can, <laughs> but I just nobody can get me into the beta. So it's probably for the best. Whatever. If you just said it has gambling, so it's probably for the best. Are you? I, are you? I'm not a gambler. That? I'm not You're a gambler. Not. I just oh, play. Like I just mean like element of, of chance. Like you throw something. It's not. It's not really that bad. I, I played CSGO and that made me a gambler, but I'm not a gambler. Yeah, CSGO is bad, man. Dude. That's I, really bad. I feel your pain there. I spent more money than I want to admit like two days ago. Like Call of Duty, they released like some new items. And the way you can really get yeah. them is you can play tons of hours or you yeah. pay some money and open up these cases and hope you get like the fancy new weapon or whatever. And I, and I spent way too much. So. I feel you. I, 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 you don't even have to tell me. I just know. I just know. I know the pain. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's funny too because like you'll be on stream you'll be like all right let's you know let's do like six hundred dollars in cases today and there's somebody there's always someone in chat like, that's my car payment you asshole <laughs> <laughs> my bad you know I just have to get this knife man you don't get it right. I think I think Counter Strike has is as close to a black market like a full oh, yeah. fledged black yeah. weapons market with zero <laughs> murders uh, that we'll ever see in the history of mankind. Like there, I mean, there is some shady shit going on. Look at, how many, like, look at how many trading websites there are. Like that's an ecosystem in and of itself. <laughs> are they the CSGO like lottery trading betting sites? They're like, I could probably count 30 just off the top of my head. It's insane. Well, and every time I see uh, like a professional player with this awesome skin, I'm like, Oh, that's pretty neat. Maybe I'll go see how much three hundred dollars. Like, yeah. you know, like every time, the cool ones or the cheap ones look like shit. Uh, yep. The cool ones always cost uh, <laughs> your your week's pay. Yep, yep. That's I. I know that feel. I had a knife that was worth like a decent amount of money, and it looked really good. And like, I got, like I'm not kidding you. Every game that I got in, when when people die, they can spectate you. So when I knew someone was spectating, I'd like pull out the knife, and you can you can flip it, and the first <laughs> thing you hear is like. Oh man, how much is that knife? <laughs> that's, that's a, how, much, how much is that knife, man? <laughs> and, I mean, it got to the point where it was just like money. It cost money. That's how much it was. It was money. <laughs> I, feel that, the, I, I feel that's the, the same the, way the about that. That's the culture of that game. Right? Yeah, I feel the same way about that though. That I felt about because because you play. Did you play Diablo three when they had the real money auction house? Oh, yes. I, I, yes. Lo I know people. Oh hate my the god! Yeah. I loved that. Man. <laughs> I loved it. I yeah. did it just too. Sell, like hamburgers for two hundred and fifty dollars. It was yeah. great. <laughs> it was its own game. Like, yeah, it was. Right. absolutely was but I, I felt the same way about that like because the one time i like something went I, I had an unexpected windfall and i was young and dumb uh <laughs> a ripe young age of 27 and uh, i was like i'm gonna spend a hundred dollars on the the real money auction house and i did and i got some decent gear and uh and i was like and i sat there with my gear and i was like okay now what 
<laughs> and like, and you'd think that would teach me a lesson, right? And but the exact same thing happened. I spent like fifty bucks on like a case hardened AK forty seven, and I got in the game and I pulled it out, and I'm like, uh, so I guess I have this now. Yeah, um, yeah. It's it's the journey, right? The experience of opening <laughs> yeah. it up, right? I mean, it's not the actual end result. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm for like you know the the the. Just the adventure of kind of like, you know, you, you got it. That was your goal, and, and you got this overpriced virtual thing that doesn't exist. I'm, I'm, <laughs> totally, I'm totally in for that. But there, there are now, like, stocks and bonds, so right? So you have, like, a nice knife in CSGO, and then, like, 14 years down the road, you trade that for, like, $8,000. <laughs> you have, like, a car's worth of Steam games that you can buy. <laughs> Unless one day Steam decides to let you cash out, in which, like, the internet will explode. <laughs> Pretty much yeah. how it'll be. Have you ever watched uh, uh, Antiques Roadshow? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> we're we're going to have one of those in the future. Yep. As you could see, this is an original uh, uh, Glock fade. Um, <laughs> you can see the patina on it. It's uh, barely been used in battle. <laughs> that would make Civil a great War video, soldier. actually. That would actually be hilarious. Somebody make that, please. <laughs> yeah, you two, so you two should put that together. <laughs> it, uh, the original guys, was it from Antique Roadshow? They were Canadian, weren't they? So we could just do the Minnesotan accents. We're like, oh, right here, this uh, M9 bayonet fade there, eh? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, nice uh, purple to pink fade there with a little yellow in the middle. Uh, probably about 600 market price, but we're going to bump it up to 14 for you. <laughs> yeah, I can see that in like 10 years, man. That would be a Valve show. Be on Valve TV. I found this Asimov op in my attic. I just wanted to see if it was worth anything. <laughs> my grave with my grandmother's. Uh, I don't think she knew what it was worth. Uh, just, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Now, Bertato, we actually saw you at PAX, and one of the things we did at PAX was put together a little video of uh, various different streamers' games that they're excited for this year. So I think we're actually going to roll that now. Oh. What games are you looking forward to playing in 2016? Oh man, I, I just talked about this. Anything. I'm going to be playing a lot of Dreadnought. I'm so excited for Dreadnought. No Man's Sky looks like it's going to be super exciting. Like No Man's Sky, Dark Souls 3, I'm really into Dark Souls. XCOM 2 is coming out, I'm a big XCOM fan. I, I don't know, I don't have an eye out on very many new games. I'm really into first person shooters, so any, any FPS games that are coming out, I'm going to be all about. I usually just see what's being streamed on Twitch, and then I'm like, I like that game. I'm gonna go play that. So Overwatch, once that comes out in June, is gonna be really great. I'm a bad streamer. I'm really excited for The Division, though. And I just spent 90 minutes this morning playing Tom Clancy's uh, The Division, which I was a little bit on the fence about, and now it's totally got me hooked. I'm, I'm really excited for March to play that game. I've never been a broadcaster that kind of uh, follows the whole, like, what's the newest game that comes out. I've always established myself as general, like, just true variety, playing whatever I want. I'm looking forward to open world sandbox games that let me go anywhere and make my own adventure. For me, Mass Effect is a huge series that I love, so that's the one that kind of tugs at my heartstrings, you know? Um, also, with the whole medieval theme for my channel, For Honor, I can't wait to decapitate people. I mean, we'll see how that's received on Twitch. Just because I like a game doesn't mean it's going to be successful on Twitch, right? So speaking of PAX South, what would you guys say is your favorite event to go to? Um, oh, you mean like out, outside oh. the outside the pack like the PAX event itself? You mean like yeah. you know like yeah. Oh, Twitch party, I guess hands down. It's just yeah. it's it's, it's <laughs> oh, the yeah. event. Right. Or like the main menu party. That was also at very <laughs> excellent. It was, yeah, it was it was tough. I was trying to figure out which yeah. no, absolutely both no, very I love excellent. Twitch parties. Uh, right. They're they're like that chance to just get What's the, I think the, the, like the expression is crunk, is, is how, how they used to say <laughs> it back Children's in the day. What else would you do on the first night, right? I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's yeah. like the tradition. You go there, you get shmammered, and then like you, you just feel like shit for the rest of the weekend. That's, <laughs> that's how it is. That's tradition. <laughs> and then you uh, are sick on your plane ride home and for a few days afterwards. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think um, PAX South, that, that first night I, I got there and I, I went to the party Oh, no, I got there on the Thursday, and I stayed up till like, 5 a.m. editing my first vlog. And then the Friday night, I hit the slurricanes a little too hard. And I just, like, tweeted out, I was like, you're not getting a vlog this weekend. Like, I'm dead. I'm dead. Like, sorry, but no. Those, those hurricanes. Did you have one, Swifter? Like, I, I did. They're, they're too delicious. They're too, like, once you, can, you can't taste the alcohol, mm -hmm. you know, you need to stay mm -hmm. away. It's like, <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. yeah, that was, like, four shots of 151 proof and then, like, pure sugar. 
And I, I like I got wow. I finished my first and was halfway through my second and it kind of like mid conversation. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. and then the spinnies. Yeah, happened. And I get it now. <laughs> I've made them. Big mistake. <laughs> yeah, it that happened. Bad. That happened on my twenty-first birthday. Uh, I was young and impressionable, and didn't know that a Long Island iced tea is not actually iced tea. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, that's, you're not the first I've heard that said that. <laughs> you drink, you drink like three of them, and you turn to your mm -hmm. buddy, and you're like, "I can't believe there's no alcohol in this." And they're like, uh, "We should get you home." <laughs> yeah. your friends, your friends like, why, "Why is your face drooping? Like, what, what's wrong with?" You're like you're leaning sideways. You don't even understand. Like, wow, that's, that's, it's like iced tea. It's great. Yeah. Actually, I think I tried my first Long Island at Pack South, and it was it was dangerous. It was pretty bad. Thankfully, it was somebody else's, so I couldn't have it. But it would have been bad. How are you guys on hydration? Like, I feel like I have to give a mental note. Like, every two or three drinks, go get like force myself drink a glass of water so I don't feel like absolute garbage the next morning. Like, are you guys? <laughs> Oh, I, well, I do yeah. that if I feel like shit. So like I'll be like halfway <laughs> through a drink and I'll be like, I should have had about eight waters by now. And then I'll finally go and I'll just, you know, I'll just take like three sips and be like, oh, I should be good now. And then go get like five more drinks. <laughs> and then I definitely regret it in the morning. I don't get hangovers, thankfully. Oh, wow. Uh, so oh, I feel like you're one of the, the lucky power ones. that you have. Like, you just, I mean, I'm 22, right? So I've got like three years left. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, like, just I'll take wait. like one, just one sip of tequila and just, <laughs> and just keel over and die. But the real yeah, I don't pros, get hangovers, uh, so I just feel a, like shit. The real pros were a camelback uh, to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I remember that one. I've actually thought about this very seriously. And uh, so my drink of choice <laughs> is tequila with water. Yes, that's, that's, really, that's the greatest. That's a thing. It Don't is people amazing. usually complain I about actually, their drink being watered down, and you're purposely watering. Yeah, down but this tequila. is like two shots of tequila with water uh, and lush, okay. so it's still alcoholic. Sure, but like you're hydrating it. while you drink. Fair so enough. It's tequila, like, tequila is like my second favorite alcohol. Like I'm the guy at favorite. every. Yeah, the first is DiCerono. <laughs> oh, but like okay. tequila is like right there. Like tequila <laughs> shots are my favorite. So you're I'm the like guy the guy at every convention that gets people to do shots of tequila. You're the guy that orders DiCerono. That guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's that, that guy, guy at 2 a.m. at the Twitch party that's just like, hey, everyone, let's do shots. Yeah, no, I just start like, grabbing people like, hey, you're doing tequila. Let's go. Let's and go. you're, you're timing it at that time of night when you can no longer say no. You're like, yeah, well, yeah. I'm too drunk to say no. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right? I can't recognize that this is a bad idea. So speaking mm -hmm. of then, what is the most embarrassing thing you've done at an after party? Oh, oh, oh man! I, oh, I mean, I have just, done. I have done so many embarrassing <laughs> things. <laughs> and when you have to be told what you've done the next day, it's just like it's I don't important, ever, like, important lessons yeah. were learned. Just, just walking around like a, a drunk mess, not remembering a single thing, yeah. professing. Uh, it was bad. I think like my worst at Pack South was. I told like eight people that I was so drunk my nipples hurt, and like, I don't know why. They did. I was in excruciating pain, but I don't know why I told them. Um, Wait, just, I think just, the worst just is your nipples were it in pain. Was just, like, it was actually just my nipples. It, they were in pain? excruciating pain. I have no idea. You, you know, you've never found out why there was no like no, special. No, I didn't go see a doctor. Like uh, when I drink tequila, my nipples hurt. You'd probably be like, I that's I can't help you, dude. Like, <laughs> trying to, like excrete Stop the just, like tequila. extra. I have, I, yeah, like literally sweating tequila. Yeah. <laughs> Um, other than that, like just forgetting people, like I, I actually shamefully, and I, I don't want her to ever find out, but she will now. I was talking to Haley, uh, Haley, <laughs> Haley Nick. Nick. Uh, yeah, 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 Haley Nick. Yeah, um, and for like the first five minutes of talking to her. I was kind of drunk, so I thought she was uh, Sonya. I thought she was OMG at Firefox. Because <laughs> oh. they, they almost look a little bit similar, right? In the the hair, the yeah. wrong, their hair is guess. like almost the exact same. You have the wrong lighting. And like, I was going to ask her, I was like, oh, how are your vlogs? I was like, this is not Sonya. <laughs> this is Haley. I was like, oh my God. I mean, we talked for like another 20 minutes, and thankfully I knew, but I was like, oh God. <laughs> like, how, how drunk am I right now? <laughs> like, what happened to me? <laughs> All the doctors in the chat are telling me how, why my nipples hurt. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, is there an actual What's answer? What's the reason? Is there, I, somebody says they're growing. I, uh, they're growing. They hurt because they're growing. They are. Well, I mean, you know, I'm trying to get them out there. It's, uh, you know, they're three inches <laughs> right now. And, uh, Some of us are born with perfect bodies, all right? Jeez, <laughs> yeah, God. It's part of this body shaming. Um, but no, sir, I, I think that's my worst thing is I just forget people. I'm very forgetful with faces, so... 
It's, re it's really bad. <laughs> the future will solve that, though. We'll all be wearing the contacts that people's yeah, names right. and Twitch channels under their names. I mean, <laughs> we'll have to solve. Who needs memory? We'll get be their young. blood type and everything. Like, I'm just going to start like writing bro Tato. Actually, did you did you meet Dead Flip Swifter? Did he do the, the graffiti thing for you? No. Well, what did he do? Oh, man. Dead Flip, is, he's like a pinball streamer, but he, he just came up to me randomly at PAX South, and he was like, hey, who has a Sharpie? And like someone gave it to him and he's like, all right, now don't move or else. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And he just, he wrote in like, uh, like, like gang letters, but it was, he wrote bro Tato across my knuckles. I, I so, wonder where that yeah. came from. All yeah. right. So he was doing that to a couple other people, but I was the first. But he, like, <laughs> I would walk up to people and be like, yo, what's up? Check it out. And they're like, oh my God, you actually get that done? Like, yeah, it's like a week old. It's like a bitch. I remember like, seriously? Like, like, no. I always think, wow, Potato's mad gangster tonight. <laughs> like, hey, you, wow, I'm uh, <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was awesome. Uh, I, I think. I, I think the most embarrassing uh, alcohol-related story or party-related story I had is from college uh, when I had a... Uh, oh, those I, college I, days, yeah. <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I had a, a thing for an individual, a, a female in a, uh, in a sorority. I was in a fraternity, uh, say what you will. Um, and uh, uh, we were hanging out all night and I thought we were having a great time and I came home with the impression that things had gone well, that we'd had this great night and we went to this fun party and we were hanging out, we were dancing, whatever. It was great, it was great. I wake up the next morning uh, and to a text on my phone that says, and I quote, got your voicemail last night. Not cool, bro. Uh, <laughs> oh. And um, I still to this day don't know uh, what I said. I wouldn't uh, ask either. I'd but be like, I, so, sorry. I'm we so did not sorry. speak after that. So uh, <laughs> whatever it was, it was pretty bad. So Friendship middle, over. Yeah, whatever I did, I ended. I mean, I could get worse than that, but that was, that was one of the more actually, memorable ones. <laughs> You know what? That actually reminds me. Oh, no. At TwitchCon, <laughs> again, I forgot somebody and mistook one girl for another girl. <laughs> wow. But, like, I walked up and I knew both of them, but I thought she was this other girl. But I walked up um, kind of drunk and I, like, put my arm around her, like, friendly. Ruh -ruh. And I And I was asking where, like, a friend of ours was. I was like, hey, have you seen so-and-so? And she, like, looked at me like, what? And I was like, have you seen so-and-so? And she's like, what? I was like... Did, how do you not know who I'm talking about? <laughs> and then I said something, and I guess she thought I was, like, hitting on her. And oh. she was like, oh, And she, like, walked away from me. Oh. And I just stood there for, like, five minutes, like, what did, what did I do? Like, <laughs> who, what, I didn't realize, honestly, until, like, two weeks later. Like, like, oh, <laughs> like two weeks later. And it just kind of, like, hit me. Like, it kind of, you know, like, cold sweat. Woke up, and then I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did, you like, did you find that person who, like, no, was like... No, I never no? messaged them. I never talked to them. I've never you, done you it. You should. I feel like that's proper etiquette. Like, hey, I'm really sorry. Like... <laughs> I'm just gonna let I, it die. It's gonna go with me to my grave. <laughs> <laughs> she was drunk enough to forget it. Just, oh, you know, one of the only other guys on Twitch with long hair. And, and, let's just let's just hope. You know, when you're when you're when you're young and everybody's having a good time, it's it's hard to like. Sometimes it's hard to know how you come across to people. Like, um, the, I always wondered when this story would come up. But I, I was uh, walking across campus one time. I, was, I, I graduated with a chemical engineering degree, so I had um, I was just coming from my lab, so I had my lab glasses uh, in my in my. I had a, a man purse, um, a and man uh, purse. they a purse, okay. if you will. And my glasses <laughs> fell out of uh, my purse, but I didn't realize it at the time. So I kept walking, and I had my headphones on, and suddenly this girl comes running up behind me. And uh, and she hands me the glass, and she's like, "Excuse me, sir, you forgot the glasses." And I'm like, "Oh gosh, thank you." She then says, and I quote, uh, <laughs> "You're gonna need those. Don't want anybody to throw hot acid in your face." What? What? Wow. Yes. And I was like, "Are you going to throw hot acid <laughs> in my face?" Like, like uh, so this is what the gypsy, the gypsy said. This is how I would die. And uh, <laughs> she was not wow. wrong. Is, is that what you're into? <laughs> yeah, that's I'm, that's that's insane. I think you know I've I've said things like that before too. Like you just kind of say something and like you're like that. that I, I shouldn't. Why I shouldn't have said that? That doesn't <laughs> control no. Z. Control Z. <laughs> yeah, and then you just kind of like you just you don't even say anything. You just kind of turn. Yep. And you walk away. <laughs> I have spoiled this moment. Uh, <laughs> I admit defeat. Uh, I will see you later. <laughs> that's the stuff that, like, you know, you're you're going to bed at two in the morning. And you just your eyes just kind of, oh man, why did I do that? <laughs> I know that was six years ago, but if I could change it, I would, and I'd be a happy man. Oh man! <laughs> All right, guys, I think we should load up this game of a uh, Hearthstone. How do you feel? You guys Ooh. ready for the challenge? I'm I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you're okay ready. With this. How how much have you guys played Hearthstone before? 
Uh, um, I used to play it a lot. Um, just got to yeah. start with other games, of course. I haven't built like a new deck in in, in like forever. I did I did build one really quick this morning. I have no idea how to use it, but that that I may just stay away because I have no idea what's going on. But <laughs> that's I'll be even potato. better. <laughs> I if haven't people played know it what they're doing. It ruins the show. <laughs> I haven't played it in a couple months, but I was in the alpha and the beta. I think I've got like a thousand hours in the game. So. Oh, dude, you you uh, you'll, you'll be fine. It's okay. I haven't played in six months, so it's a fair matchup. <laughs> 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 uh, so if you guys go ahead and jump in the game, we'll ask you a couple more questions as you're loading up, and yeah. I will uh, okay. I'll get the game ready for us. So, uh, okay, perfect. So one of the questions we're getting from chat actually is whether or not you have any tips on how to start streaming. Oh, uh, um, I mean, that's that, I'll leave that one to you for now. Oh, oh sure, you, I'm sure you'll chime in, but I mean, yeah. just find something you you really are passionately enjoy playing, and. And, and play that and try and do your best to build a connection with the people who come into your, your channel. If there's if there's even one person there, that's an opportunity for you to like start building a community. It starts with like, you know, just a few people. Mm -hmm. So just play something you enjoy, communicate with your, your, your you know, the folks come in and most more importantly, let them know the next time you're gonna be live. Like how, like will they be there next time? Like, you know, have them come by. Like you just, it's a very slow thing. Like you, you look at people who are doing okay or doing well, and it seems like an overnight thing where they started that way. No one started that way. It takes time to build up, and you just—it's a slow process. But slowly build your community, your fan base. Listen to them; they'll listen to you. And I, and I feel like it's just—it's a, a gradual thing you learn over time. Mm -hmm. That and be consistent. Like that's you know, like yes. when you tell them you're going to be live tomorrow at like six, be live tomorrow at six, not seven, right? Mm -hmm. And. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm bad with that too. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. As, uh, I, I daily vlog every day at 9 a.m. Don't worry. Um, but I mean, let's you know, just be consistent and have fun with it. And I think like one of one of the best pieces of advice, other than that, I could say is don't think about money, like the money, immediately, because yes. that's like, I mean, like that's that's something that was maybe okay like four or five years ago when JTV started, because there was maybe like eight people streaming on the site. And and they were all doing pretty well, but like nowadays, there's what was it in the stats yesterday? One point seven million unique broadcasters, and like you can almost guarantee like ninety five percent of them are trying to go full time at some point. Right. Uh, so you know, just just have fun with it. Just have fun. Mm -hmm. uh, secondary tip uh, for anybody who's wondering at home is when the host of the show that you're on asks uh, you to challenge your opponent to a game of Hearthstone so he can spectate it. Uh, you generally do that. <laughs> Oh, wait, uh, okay. He, I he actually don't even hint. have... See, hold on. You said... I was going to say... I, was gonna say. I, oh, I probably, I probably wasn't clear. <laughs> so, hold on a sec. Let me download are you guys, real Are you guys quick. friends okay. on Battle.net? We should have... No, of, course, of course we are. Okay, Just good. don't ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as... Oh, there we go. <laughs> of course we are, yeah. For for, yeah. for months, years, oh. decades. <laughs> so it's it's time to tell, Since birth, to tell even. the miniature chair story. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so let's see here. Okay. No, no, Chad. I'm not telling the miniature chair story. What's Wait, the miniature what? chair story? I, I, you can't, I, I you like, can't say something like... You can't bring that like, up and then not tell us, yeah. tell us what it is. <laughs> okay. Right. One sec. All hold right. on. Let me see if I have the link. I'm going to start. Okay. All right. Can you... Oh god, the game's starting. Okay, I'll tell it after oh, this oh, game. Oh, was, that, well, was okay. I supposed to do something? No, no, it's okay. It's, I'll tell it after this game. I will tell it after this game. And it will be explained. <laughs> I'm angry at whoever whoever brought that one up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Time to focus. Oh, you're on the warrior deck. Okay. Time to get into it. Yeah, I haven't used this deck. In, I think it's I think it's terrible now, so <laughs> says a lot about your your aggressive personality. <laughs> <laughs> Canadians are well known for their uh, aggression. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, they're unapologetic aggression. <laughs> <laughs> we we hit you and then we say sorry. Sorry, I'm so sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh, it's, you know, sorry, he. <laughs> I just you can't call so, someone a so bitch like that. So one of the uh, one of the things we actually did with Sonia and Ali last week was uh, a little bit of fun with accents. Oh, oh that's true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I am oh, Brotato. I, I mean, he's already used like five of them like during our interview right now. But I have like zero accent ability. Like I'm I'm just. <laughs> that, that that talent pool is zero. Zero. But, you know, welcome to try. Um, All right, let, let's let's start with what we uh, started with last time and go with Scottish. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Like, what, did, what do they even sound like? I have no idea. Uh, just say haggis, uh, and you're halfway there. Haggis. Kilt. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm trying to take my turn. Um, Guinness. Uh, probably wrong. <laughs> 
Maybe that's why I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Marlon. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, now your best uh, American Midwestern accent. <laughs> oh. Um. Wait. What, what is Midwestern? Is that like is Texan? Texan? Like that's cowboy? just that's Swifter's that's like, accent. What? What? Swifter, Swifter you have lives a, in Swift. New York. Well, yeah, no but you way. have a Midwestern accent. No just, way. I'm from Brooklyn, bro. <laughs> you don't have that. I've I've not detected it. You you're not talking like this. You know you're not like a real New Yorker. You don't, you don't, have, a, you yeah. don't have a New York <laughs> accent. Do I need to ask you about your favorite pizza joint? Is that what triggers it? Because I oh, 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 hey. oh, that's a that's a three hour conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so like, wouldn't Midwestern be like the country? They, they say that they say that mid no South is twi- They say that Midwestern is the accent of no accent. Like basically, oh, so, okay, so it's like so it's like uh, Barack yeah. Obama's. Can Kenyan uncle visited yeah, it, the White House today. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the news. <Yeah>. T- <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. It, precisely that. Yeah. Oh man. Precisely. Okay. Now, so if anyone got... in chat has any questions, you can uh, post them in chat, or you can also tweet them with the uh, hashtag Twitch Talk, and we'll uh, read them out on stream. Oh, apparently Guinness is Irish. I had no idea. Is oh it? boy. I, I just I thought knew... it tasted bad. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> Oh, it's liquid red. It's a, it's a meal in itself. I know. That's <laughs> just the problem with it. I've heard that the stuff they brew at the Guinness Brewery is a lot better than the stuff you get in a can in the States. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they water it. it. Yeah. I feel like it's a really bad way to do your beer, though. Like, well, they, but the, the American <laughs> audience is used to lighter beers. And so I've yeah. heard that they actually brew a different style. I mean, no, I don't, once again, I don't have a guy on the inside in Guinness or anything. I just, <laughs> I've heard a rumor. This I is, yeah. yeah. I, it sounds like you have a hookup. I don't know, man. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, like I feel like it's a really bad way to do your beer. Like, oh yeah, you have to come to Ireland to drink the real stuff. <laughs> it's just like a twenty-hour drive through with amphibious vehicle. All right, <laughs> we have some Twitch chat questions here oh, for Swifter. Ready. What made you oh. start streaming? Um, lack of ability to socialize with other human beings i had just left <laughs> I, I, I swear to god uh i had just left my my previous job as an it manager or whatever and uh and i was just killing time while i took classes and um, a friend of mine was playing games richie manic and i'm like oh i'm gonna do that too it'd be a great opportunity just like to talk to people and get to learn to like you know just communicate with other human beings with it not being a work environment and and, and it kind of worked I'm, I'm less of a super gamer introvert now so that, that was my that was my initial initial goal uh, I'm curious to hear what Potato's reason is, though. Um, I just I had no friends at all, and I wanted to. Aww. I wanted to like I saw Tally uh, making this a, a career, and Aww. I was like, I want to do that. I think that. we need some bro love emotes yeah. in chat. I just no, I I was like I was like, <laughs> hey, uh, I don't get out much. I don't have any friends. Uh, I should just play video games. And, and, and yet the two of you are it. so friendly and charismatic right now, like just talking to us, that is extremely hard to believe. I, it's, I don't know, man. I, I'm actually like an introvert by heart. Like as soon as I get off the stream, I, I am dead quiet. I am like absolutely <laughs> dead quiet. I can barely start a conversation. Uh, I was actually talking about this with a couple of friends like at PAX South. Um, there have been times uh, a couple months ago where I would, I would get off the stream one day and be like, oh my God, I haven't, I haven't spoken outside of my stream in like a month oh, like I, oh, I would just get off and watch twitch and eat food and then sleep and wake up and stream and <laughs> it's, it's a very it's a very like reclusive lifestyle almost sometimes you get this reputation Aww. as like the village hermit like they <laughs> say hasn't come out of the house in years i'm pretty sure that's who i am to like my neighbors yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, it turns out you have this giant like this giant twitch following and you're actually extremely social online they just like they haven't seen you so they have their own perception <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> yeah. they hear me like screaming and shouting every day but then i walk out of the house like moping with the hood on like, oh, <laughs> they probably sure think something killer. really sinister is going on in yeah. your exactly. house like, <laughs> <laughs> like a buffalo bill situation all right dj we've got an extremely serious question for you here you uh, ready for this ooh. oh you no ready are you ready? Um, um, go for it. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Sacrilege! You didn't even get half really? through that. Do it! I... I... I no. <laughs> no. It's been a hot topic on my stream for like the past three months. <laughs> Three well, months. Well, why? Why is it such a like such a such Just a controversial my, thing? Chad is a bunch of fucking heathens. Is <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I said I don't like pineapple pizza, and they started to riot. And they started yeah. to riot because you <laughs> don't like do. pineapple oh, yeah. pizza. If I if I if I call them chat because I told them the one day, 
if I call you chat instead of taters, uh, the community nickname, um, I was like, just, you know, call me mean names and, and whatever. And uh, now if I call them chat, even for a second, they just riot. Uh, they riot for ads. I'm also getting my ass kicked in this game. <laughs> really? Honestly, they just get... Yeah, look at them. There they go. I told them not to do this, but they're doing it. I'm sorry. You just need the grim page. <laughs> that's wild. That's I, absolutely wild. I hate to do some self-promotion. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, but if... <laughs> If anybody in your chat is interested in an icon that represents uh, their riot and their frustrations, uh, we actually just got some subscriber emotes on the channel, and my favorite one is uh, dot fire, uh, which is a dumpster fire. If our if our TD could actually put that in the chat, uh, we're actually pretty excited oh, about that. That's one. actually really nice. Looking at it now, that's actually pretty pretty sweet. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you want to warm my hands over it too. It's kind of cold yeah. here in New York. Like you guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you guys getting hit with a bunch of snow right now, Swifter, or because we were getting no. dumped on? Like, no, it's on, not figured. I wish we had some snow. It's, it's just cold. It's just it's really just cold. cold. Probably nothing compared to what you guys have over there, though. No, it, it's we. It's supposed to get negative forty here tonight. Oh, so. Oh man. I, you guys uh, need to move to Austin. Yeah, I, I uh, lived in Iowa my entire life, and mm -hmm. then I moved to Austin, and it's it's. I ride my bike to work every week, so or every day, okay. so it's been a it's been a welcome change. I, <laughs> oh, I, I remember walking to uh, one of my finals in negative forty five degree weather. Jeez. Um, and, Did that uh, impact your performance when you took your final? You're just like, I'm so cool, I can't even think about answering these questions. <laughs> I think it's like, hilarious no. you think I studied. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, I'm actually moving down to Toronto in the coming months, and they don't get too, too much snow unless it's like a bad day, which is pretty much every other week. Uh, but <laughs> thankfully, being in the city, that means better snow plows, right? So There you go. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got another question for you, Swifter. When is your next New York City meetup? Oh, I'm, I see. So the other guys like in Vancouver are doing such like, an amazing, amazing job. Like in last year, I just did like three of them. This year, my, my pledge is that starting with the one we just did in February, I'm going to do one every single month. So first Ooh. week of March is the next one. So I'm pretty, it's been, it's been a great thing meeting great people. And I'm just always so jealous when I look at like Instagrams from the West Coast, San Francisco, all these guys mm -hmm. like Gassy Mexican and Addiction just like hanging out and having fun like, where, where are my local friends? I feel Aww. you. Man. I, feel, I wish I lived in New York to hang out with everyone, which is like kind of why I'm going down to Toronto because there's a couple of people down there. But I want to live on the West Coast, man. I want to be in Seattle with everybody. It's so uh, weird to hear someone describe it as down to Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually funny because it's like today's the only time I've ever gotten that right. For the past like eight years, I've been like, oh, let's go up to Toronto. Don't you mean down? <laughs> all right, all right, you're funny. Unless you mean you're going like down around the bottom of the earth and then back <laughs> around. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I'm going to go east to L.A. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God, man, I'm in like such a tight position right now. I, think, yeah, I believe that you can pull it out. I've got like no cards. Nothing. I know I that's that's the only reason I'm I'm not dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes is one though, right? Yeah, everybody oh. gets one. All righty. I'll hit you with pyroblast. Yeah, I'm actually jealous I'm of those uh, those New York meetups. When I move down to Toronto, I'm starting up a, a Toronto meetup. So, Ooh. oh, that's we're awesome. just gonna have meetups everywhere, man. And Toronto isn't too far from NYC. That's I think I mean it's an hour and a half flight. Four hundred dollars for some reason, but oh, it's an hour. Wow! Why is that so much? It's just Canada, man. It's Canada. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only explanation. <laughs> we always had that problem at my local airport. There was there was like one plane that would go anywhere outside of uh, like they were all they were all cargo planes. And so yeah. if you wanted to fly from uh, any major airport surrounding uh, Des Moines, which is where I'm originally from. To Des Moines, there was like one rinky dink, dink plane that was like pedal powered, and like that, <laughs> like five people would get on it, and it was an extra three hundred bucks a ticket. <laughs> oh man, the, the yeah, board's I... looking good for you, man. He's got he's got nineteen damage. You've got what? Uh, you got thir fourteen damage on the table right now. You he's got. Gotta... I'm so worried. I've got like nothing. Oh man, I was like, <laughs> I got this. Like, so, <laughs> and then he pulls out all his like legendaries. Secretly, like secretly, he's just been like actually playing this every single day and just pretending <laughs> that he has it. Oh, like. a Hearthstone. I mean, I guess I could <laughs> install <laughs> it. Uh. Let me go on to my non-legend account. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, oh, I'm just. Uh, <laughs> Oh, man, Alrighty, sick. we've got another question from chat here. Do you guys have any cringe stories from chat? Oh, cringe oh, stories man. from chat. Uh, um, wow. Oh man, I'm trying to think of what. 
trying to think. I mean, I, God, there's like a new one every day. <laughs> like, like the other day, somebody got angry at me for no reason, like literally no reason. Uh, oh, I've got one from yesterday. Uh, like uh, right. we we're just new weapon in Call of Duty, and it's firing crossbow bolts. And, and I guess I was early, broadcasting earlier in the day, and all the folks from like Europe were just just bashing me for pronouncing "bolt" the wrong way. And no, <laughs> bolt. And I, I, I don't know. I, I, I should have asked what they were like. No, you're retarded. You're sp-. like, like I don't get it. It's like you pronounce it differently than I do. I'm from the United States. Just get over it. I got so upset. It was really just. <laughs> what it, so you say? You say? I guess you kind of say bolts, don't you? Like yeah, sort of with that, an A sound. Wrong? Like, am I am I actually I mean, wrong here? Like, how do you pro- it? I, I would say bolt. Bolt, like Hussein Bolt, like it's like it's been said in the Olympics like a million times. Also, I'm about to freaking die. <laughs> I think I should kill you. Oh my god! Oh, one time, one time! No! Oh my god! Oh, my god. No. And it's over. Oh, All right. well that's done. it. Well done. Okay. I was really hoping that would work. <laughs> what a comeback, man! Well done. Yeah, well, I guess that te- was an intense game. would have died yeah. uh, <laughs> because the bot got kicked out. But uh, we'll we'll go ahead and set up another one. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's make this a best of three. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I I told this story last week, but. The way you say "bolt" reminds me of that that uh, that YouTube video. I can't believe this is coming up two weeks in a row. Have you guys seen the one where the guy is like, uh, "Hey, could you pass pass me a glass of milk?" Milk. Like, <laughs> I haven't seen that. Did you guys hear what he said? Yeah, he wants some milk. Like and they all <laughs> pronounce <laughs> films differently. <laughs> oh man! And then they pull guns on each other. Um, Speaking of amazing things on Twitch, actually, did you guys see uh, Piano Impro Man? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Do you guys great. see him? For all of those in chat, I think we've actually got a video of uh, a little bit of his stream. So if we can roll that for people in chat who did not get to see him. <laughs> okay, this is a bit of a troll deck, so I'm really hoping this works out because it's great if it does. <laughs> let's let's see. It might. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. So what uh, what did you guys think of Piano Impro Man? I love him, man. I think I think he's like one of the coolest guys on the site when it comes to just like genuine compassion and just loving what he does and radiating positivity. He's so cool. And I think he's like a great example. I feel like a lot of people think about Twitch and says, oh, it's just for like, you know, young kids who play games or whatever. Yeah. And, and this really just like breaks that. It's like, you know, if you have a talent, you do have like this, like, you know, affinity for like, you know, an audience. I mean, you you can make it and you can do a, have great things happen. So I think that's pretty fantastic. Well, that's sort of the spirit of Twitch, isn't it? Is that it's not about what game you play or who you are. It's just kind of about being yourself around a yeah. bunch of other people. Right. Right. Yeah, no, that's that's the beauty of it. That's that's the beauty. No, he's you he's a really cool guy. He's actually gone viral on the site twice now, which is impressive. Oh. Yeah, he went viral the first time with like thirty to forty thousand viewers, mm-hmm. and uh, he's gone viral twice now. Yeah, uh, the second like one I think really it, he got posted to Reddit or something, and it was up yeah. to like sixty thousand at one point. Well, it's usually yeah, it's usually the Twitch staff that make the streams go viral because when they all start tweeting it out and everyone then start everyone tweets it out and then yeah. it gets up to seventy thousand yeah. viewers, which is amazing. Like, I, I've been you know I've been wondering you know what it takes to make a stream go viral rather than like a YouTube video and how different it is. Mm-hmm. Right, and I think it's just the answer is just Twitch staff. <laughs> <laughs> Get, yeah. get them wrenches. <laughs> yeah. Do a few interviews, figure out what, what they're into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, so let's talk. <laughs> How's a gift card sound? I, <laughs> so I think my favorite thing about Piano Improv, man, my favorite moment is whenever he does like a piano solo and everybody starts spamming VAC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it, man. I love it. I mean, that stuff happened with the Bob Ross stuff, too. It's just yeah. beautiful. absolutely beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's great when I'm he actually... trolls chat, though, and he like John yeah. Cena's or like, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm actually super bummed that I haven't been able to make this deck work like I wanted it to. Aww. Oh, believe me, feels same here, bad. man. I've been just in the wrong draws all. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Yeah. Feels bad. All right, we've oh, got well. another question from chat here. Is a face cam needed to be a successful streamer? And what should expectations be for a starter? Um, I mean, I guess like you're just looking at like the top one of the fop lyric. He doesn't use a webcam. That's like the always example people throw. And it's so true. Like you don't need yep. if you if you can make your stream entertaining and engaging and connect with your audience, you don't need a webcam. I feel like it helps for me. I feel I like people being able to see me. Uh, so I, th- I think it's great if you're comfortable with it. But obviously, it's it's doable without very doable. Um. I, I absolutely agree. You don't need or have to have a webcam, but 
And I, I'm on the fence, like, with that, like, exactly what you said, Swifter. But at the same time, like, that's just, like, that's up to you. Like, if you want to show your face, then show your face. If you don't want to, then then don't. And um, and that's, like, the easiest way to, to put it, honestly. Mm-hmm. Is if you're comfortable with having your face out there, then it makes it easier to entertain sometimes. But if not, then, you know, you're not going to you're not gonna fail or anything because of it. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And Oh, uh, I forgot to explain the miniature chair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to hear that. And then I I've got a- another question from chat for you, Jay. Okay. After you explain, Chair. Oh, I, okay, I, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this because I need like a picture on the screen to explain it. <laughs> uh, unless everyone in the chat, including you guys, can click on a link. That, that might do the same. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to tell this story really quickly. Uh, I, a while ago, I needed a chair for my outdoor like balcony. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I went on eBay and I saw this pretty awesome chair for about $16. And I was well, like, "This is great." Um, it was it, it just it was sixteen dollars free shipping. It looked like a nice like leather chair, and I was like, "Okay, you know, like, all right, I'm okay with this. Uh, I like this. Deals are good." And um, about like I, I want to say like about a month later, like I had actually completely forgotten about it. About a month later, something showed up in my mail, and I was like, "What the like? What is this?" Um, and it had like a plastic casing around it, so I was like, "Oh, it's got to be an amiibo." I was like, who the F sent me an Amiibo? <laughs> and so I open it up, and here's the here's a tweet. Um, inside was a miniature chair. <laughs> oh, 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 my uh, God. A month and a half to ship to me. It was a 1 to 16 scale chair. <laughs> It's One of those little, like, little oh my God. Like, so in other words, hilarious. in other words, yeah. you got an incredible deal for a normal sized chair, and you got completely ripped off for a miniature exactly. chair. <laughs> exactly. That, that stuff's awesome. expensive, though. Like, <laughs> not. like, it's like the guy probably spent like an entire month just carving out that tiny little chair for you. I mean, yeah, it's, sixteen dollars could have been a deal. Who knows? I I I looked it up. Apparently, that chair is like five thousand dollars. So, <laughs> and what's funny is now now my viewers take it upon themselves whenever they see the chair in public. They tweeted to me. They're like, "Oh, look, my office has two of these chairs." Or, <laughs> "Hey, look what I found." And it's just it's like torture every time. Oh, so yeah, yeah, I accidentally ordered a miniature chair. <laughs> and I ordered sh- shower curtains instead of regular curtains. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm pretty bad with Amazon purchases, honestly. I picture this like this old man in his workshop who like wakes up every morning and he gets <laughs> a nice bowl of bran and he puts on his apron and he walks over and he just lovingly Pours his heart into every leg and stitch of that miniature chair, and then oh he gets God. it ready and he seals it with a kiss, and he says he's gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> and you get it in the mail, and you're like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Way I'm to pretty make bad Jay at feel bad. And he, t- and he turns to his pet parrot, and he's like, "I made someone's life a little better today." Pepito, <laughs> <laughs> this is the day. <laughs> I'm telling you, you will be a return customer. <laughs> We're gonna sell you a thousand of these. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Oh, I also I mean, yeah, I bought a real bonsai tree instead of a fake bonsai tree. I legitimately <laughs> thought it was fake. I got it in the mail. I was like, why do I have to water it? Jay, you know, you know what I think you need? I think you need an assistant I, I that had follows one. you around. I wait, one. wait, that follows you around and tells you who you're talking to at every moment <laughs> and also approves all of your purchases <laughs> before you buy them. <laughs> I, I had one of those and they did a very good job at that. <laughs> okay. I'm getting my butt whooped right now. Oh boy. Uh, oh man. Oh, I, I, I was this way last game, so I'm not, I am on my defensive here. I'm, I'm waiting for you to pull this. out some crazy card and just like wipe out everybody. <laughs> Here's my first two. And, and I owe you like, you know, a hamburger or something. I don't know what comes <laughs> out. <laughs> Alrighty, so the, is, the question uh, uh, from chat, Jay, you ready for this? Oh God, I already know what it is probably. You, you, I'm sure you do. Is Hawaii on the left or the right? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> wow. It'd be on the left. That's, that's a, oh man. I can't geography either. So I can't buy things and I can't geography. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about like like uh, the, the 30 minute time zones. And, and I was, I, I remember that Hawaii is, is on west on the left, whatever. <laughs> and it's a 30 minute time zone and so is Newfoundland on the right or east. I, I believe you mean Newfoundland? And, uh, Newfoundland, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, wait, Hawaii is the one on the left, right? 
And um, I got made fun of because apparently I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't know west or east or north or south. I just say up, down, left or right. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the same boat, man. The world's round. It's really it's, weird yeah. and hard. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, I, well, no, not necessarily. Uh, not if you like, ask, who was that? B.O.B.? Oh, yeah, According B. O. B. to B.O.B., the world's flat and we've all been duped. Unfortunately. Uh, I like the way that man thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh man! <laughs> All right. Should we go? Got, should we go one more? Finish the best of three. I'm, a, um, I'm okay. To finish the best of three. I think we're tied uh, up right now, right? Yeah, right. it's, it's yeah. evenly tied. tied. All right, here we go. All right, this is this is okay. Deck. Everything in your lives has been leading to this moment. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. No pressure at all. <laughs> but uh, whoever wins this video game, <laughs> just wins the world they won. the world is yours the world after is yours. this yeah this, this mom this is for you moms <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go okay it's not a bad draw all right there we go i don't know what's good and bad in this game anymore <laughs> <laughs> that's uh <laughs> looks like a, looks like you got some cards there you know that card he's yeah, got some cards, cards and he's good got some art. cards and he's got <laughs> a heroes of the storm card back and uh <laughs> You know, it's got some really good art there, so I'm going to guess that card's pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing a warrior, he's playing a hunter, and that's oh. about all I know. <laughs> you know, you know uh, instinctively, the hunter's got a bow, so the warrior won't be able to get near him. The, the hunter's going to I mean, that's, win. that's obvious, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's how it's it melee works. versus range. That's how this I game mean. works, right? Right? <laughs> oh, look at that mana curve. Well, no, it's actually... Terrible. It's... Thanks. That mana curve is so even. <laughs> it just, just stays the same. Dude, if you don't know your first three moves in your opening hand, uh, then you're, you're, you're boned. You're just... If I've learned anything from watching... Harian. <laughs> Harian is my guilty pleasure. Not even guilty pleasure anymore, but... He's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Actually, I mean, like, talking about awkward things at cons... Um, I've done so many awkward things at cons. I, I've met Kriparian for the first time. Oh, yeah? And he... He lives like an hour from me. He, he lives in the city that I'm moving to. Um, and I always thought that was totally cool. I was like, oh, man, like, you know, another Canadian streamer. Mm -hmm, so right. that's how I've always known Kriparian is like, he's the guy that lives an hour from me. <laughs> um, and so I walked up to him at, at PAX Prime or TwitchCon. And the first thing I said to him was, hey, we live we live an hour away from each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great pickup line. Like, <laughs> like, like, oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm Brotato. And he's like, yeah, I know who you are. <laughs> but I was like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> That's the worst thing to say. I, w I went to visit you, but you weren't home. Here's your doormat back. Uh, I just had to grab it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Oh, I live near you. <laughs> I, I'm just a really awkward person in real life. <laughs> that's pretty much how it is. Yeah, but you, li you, you, you work in a business where that's okay. Like, it, it truly that's is. Um, that's I don't think anybody would have a problem with that. We don't get out of the house much, so we're allowed to have a couple mix up and, <laughs> and you know, for, forget yeah. their names and yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're at the end of the day, we're, we're very sheltered beings a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, I know my cat's names and that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Are do you have any of your cats handy? Because uh, we had a cat cat show oh, on the last cat, show. Yeah, we had a cat oh, showdown I, with uh, right. Sonia and Ali. Do you, do you have any cats? No, no, I used to have 13 cats when I was younger, but I have zero cats Jesus. now. I've been, I've been catted out. How what did you get from 13 to zero? To all that's of them. like, just moving, that's a moving big away. change. No. I now I live, live in the city. It's just hard to manage cats. I, I want to be the, you know, mid-aged cat guy, but it's not working out. <laughs> <laughs> Cats are the easiest pets, though, because uh, yeah. they're more like roommates. Easy. Than... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're like they're like masters. Like <laughs> <laughs> my cat has decided yeah. that uh, seven o'clock is when I need to wake up and <laughs> give him more food. Yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm with you there. I got one cat. He's eating treats. I got both of them in here right now, but I don't I don't know what they're what they're up to. Hold on, I gotta. He's eating treats. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't met them. Uh, Come here, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is my son. This is Flynn. Oh, hello. This is my baby. This is my first cat. He's counting the seconds until he gets to uh, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually pretty good we yet? I keep him here, and I just do this. He's pretty good with it. I can just... Oh. He's used to this. He loves this one. <laughs> <laughs> I said it on the last show. I'll say it again. It's not fair that cats are so incredibly huggable. 
and yet hate human contact exactly. so much. <laughs> <Terrible. laughs> and I've got my I've got my bear. Um, I actually won't. He won't show up on a black background, so I'm gonna put the the the, the Gaben up for a minute. There we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's been there the whole time. <laughs> this is my my bear. Oh my! Oh, goodness. that is adorable. That is uh, a gigantic cat. Yeah, he's he's bigger than my torso. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh! <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell because he's he's black, but this is the cuddliest cat you'll ever meet. Like, really? Oh, I can just. Wow. Oh, hello. Holy Hi. cow. Here we go. I just cradle him like a baby. And he uh, just kind of lays there and takes it. I, uh, I woke up this morning to my dog spooning me. Uh, <laughs> that was... That's, <laughs> oh, wow. That's actually not bad. I just I rolled mean, over and he just... And I just like... I was like... I actually asked him out loud. I'm like, can I help you? And he just stared at me. And he just started licking my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was oh. a... It was a happy right, puppy moment. Let me turn the gaben <laughs> off. Yeah, so that's that's my that's my main coon. He's a... He's a biggin. He's a biggin. There's no other way to put it. Uh, uh, we've, that. Got, we've got a chat question for you, Swifter. Oh, I'm ready. When will you be playing the duck? The the duck. The duck. So I, I have no idea what that pressure means. Time. I don't know if you know what Maybe that means. Well, like, like, quack, like quack quack duck? I There's, have no idea. Maybe they mean that's, duck sauce. That's when literally play duck sauce? the question. <laughs> I love ducks. Uh, maybe they mean duck game. Duck oh, game. Yeah, yeah. Duck game. that is amazing. what they mean. I, yeah. I, I, I need... Yeah, that's a fun game, but it brings out the absolute worst in me, which is, which is great. But I was trying. I was. Is personally... it worse than playing Risk with your oh, family? No, <laughs> no. <That's not laughs> I think that's what we're going to set the bar here. <laughs> I was actually lobbying for us to play Broforce on today's episode. Oh, that'd be pretty. Oh, but we couldn't. Solid. We couldn't get it put together in time. We're uh, <laughs> we're still figuring out the new layout in the studio. So. Broforce is solid, or you know, I mean, there's there's online risk. Online risk is is a oh, fantastic man. I feel show like, segment. Right? I feel like that would like legitimately ruin friendships, though. Like not even <laughs> yeah. like like yeah, like we would destroy the Twitch community by playing <laughs> risk. How did Swifter and Rotato rivalry start? <laughs> well, the great the Twitch schism of 2016. <laughs> We could do like a, a Ken oh, Burns geez. documentary with like my dearest Annabelle. <laughs> I'm afraid I've been on the front line for another six years. <laughs> I rue the day the Daily Dot introduced us to online risk. <laughs> Please send more Necco wafers to the front lines. Yours cordially. <laughs> J Jonathan Steuben Stevens. <laughs> Steuben <laughs> Stevens. <laughs> yeah, uh, Swift. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what happened there, but it just kind of worked just, out. You destroyed. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what my what my game plan is here. Yeah, uh, oh, man, this is getting intense. Um, you, you, not for much longer. King uh, Crush. <laughs> oh, King Crush is my favorite card. Yeah. I love King Crush too. Yeah, he's oh, great. He's, I love because when you put him it on the actually, board. actually, okay. Yeah. The funny thing is, when I first started playing Hearthstone, mm -hmm. I got that card and I was like, this looks pretty cool. I'll put this in my deck. N had no idea what it did. I put it out and I legitimately scared myself. <laughs> I was like, what is going on right now? <laughs> oh I like God. flipped out. <laughs> oh I was God. like, things are shaking. I've ruined the video game. I, I, thought, I thought my game was broke. I was like, oh, is this a graphical bug? <laughs> 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 oh, I get it. Oh, man. Yeah, I think, I think it's over. Well played. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't really have any options over here. You don't have a brawl in hand? Oh. If I, if I didn't get no, the I wish. I wish. <laughs> I've done something. I, I mulliganed that brawl, which was absolutely oh. retarded. Yeah. <laughs> and it's over. Good game, man. Well game, played. Man. Wow. Game. And there it is. Oh, the tears. I just hope we you guys can remain friends. We need to get that, uh, friends. that cross stream handshake going. Yeah. <laughs> can, we, can we do that? How do I? We need to. Are we yeah. going to do yeah, we need yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, to each other? Like, you need to shake each other's you hand. You go to your left, way. Swifter, yeah. you go to your right. Okay. Yes. My, oh, I go, I go to my right. Okay. Yes. There we go. And Rotator, you go Rotator, the other way. Your left. Rotator, your left. Your left. Now it looks. There we go. I like that. We can just flap That is my left. Oh, no, that's my right. Sorry, that's screen left, stage right. My bad. Uh, Brocato, will we you tried. donate your hair? We tried. <laughs> yeah, will you donate your hair? You, it was another was question. To Swifter? Like, yeah. like, I, will, I will accept that donation. That'd be very <laughs> fine. That sacrifice will not soon be forgotten. At least I have a out, right? as well, so I'll split it for both of you guys, and I'll just, you know, I'll just keep that. <laughs> oh. But see, you guys can grow, well, you can grow a beard better than I can, so I just grow patch. It's like a, you know, the we can trade. Species. We can I'll, trade. I'll trade you. I'll you trade know, you I'll, six I'll grow it out. This beard. facial hair for your facial hair, <laughs> and I'll give you like this. 
This. Here we go. <laughs> Just that. Just that. <laughs> my favorite thing is actually like, just go up to people with short hair and like put my hair over theirs, and then you know like give them like a little like Donald Trump toupee with my with my bangs. <laughs> How long does it take you to grow up to that level? Like, what's the what's the? This has time been this has been like two and a half years, but it was down like past the camera probably, and I I cut it like a month ago. So. Wow. Um, I'm debating, I don't know, I'm probably going to cut it in like a year because everyone now has long hair, so it's not really like a, a unique thing anymore. <laughs> but I'll probably get like one of those undercuts halfway through the year just to feel special. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, it's just it's a long cut. Like, cut, like basically, or is that yeah, what like you, you cut? Yeah, you, know, you cut the, you shave the half the side and you keep the rest of it long. I have no idea. I've been and told it's a girl's hair, Diplo hairstyle. Call but... And you can get your career started. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go from Twitch streamer to... to EDM artist. That'd be great. God it's knows you don't know. You don't need to know how to make music. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! The shots fired. Speaking of music, do you guys go to those kind of like EDM festivals or music festivals? Like I've I've only started like going to them once in a while, and it's like it's a pretty interesting, cool experience. I definitely feel out of place still, but it's just like a yeah. a lot of energy which is I'm, which is nice i'm not really like a jump around and like party person sure so yeah, like if there was like a chair somewhere up in a room that i could sit and just be like oh this is some nice music you could do that you could totally <laughs> a do full that size chair on, like, a chair or uh, like, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it's quite it's good mm, music yes. <laughs> by, oh, very 2014 my really... <laughs> <laughs> age as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but i other than that like i can't like get out on the floor and jump around and go crazy right i'm that weird guy that like while everyone's dancing i kind of like just walk through everyone to go for a smoke <laughs> you're like an avril lavigne music video if they just had like a camera following you you'd be yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i just kind of stand there and just like oh yeah hey yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, i'm feeling I sick so i'm gonna go home and eat pizza <laughs> Oh god, I want pizza now. So I've I actually, uh, so I've actually been right to a now. lot of music festivals. I used to uh, oh. write for MTV Australia, so I am very big uh, into the uh, the EDM. What, what's your next one? Is it Miami Ultra? Is it uh, <sighs> Ultra, whatever? Or is it like uh, EDC? I don't, I don't, I don't keep track of all of them. Yeah, but it's like... yeah. I mean, I, I would love to, I would love to do Ultra again. I've done it twice now, but uh, Ultra is like a whole nother level. Like you have to like. The reason it's only once a year is because you need that year to prepare for the next one. <laughs> like you need to like you need to like train up. You need to like get ready get for your, the experience your, that is in. like three days of like just intense full on party. Go through your yeah. your your therapist for the PTSD exactly. from it. Like, <laughs> exactly. Kind of mentally prepare yourself. Yeah. It feels like that like that montage at the beginning of uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid: The Phantom Pain, where like. Uh, Snake is getting his life and his body put back together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't that's, do that's it anymore. You, it's, <laughs> you it's have been, to. It's your job. It's, it's been eight months. <laughs> <laughs> you have like the girl and like you have to do it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this is your destiny. <laughs> <laughs> no, who get the movie out of that? Alrighty, One so we time. have. We have a few few last questions here, and then we'll let you guys go because you've uh, spent a lot of time here with us today, and we'd like to thank you for that. Oh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> I had fun. Words. So, firstly, uh, when doing variety casting, is it important to still have a main game? Uh, for me, it is. I I've tried the whole, I'm not going to play Call of Duty. I'm just going to play whatever the hell I want, and it goes terribly. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, I have to give. I have to, like, give folks what they kind of, you know, like, would like, well, expect that day. And then from mm -hmm. there, it's like, all right, I'm going to do this thing. Stick around if you want to check it out. I encourage you to do that. And that works mm -hmm. out pretty well for me. Okay. Uh, um, how about you? I tried. I tried to, like, make Destiny my melee game, or melee game, my main <laughs> game. Um, and like it worked for a bit, but like I, I kind of started my whole thing on just pure variety, like a game a week. And I just switched to like two or three games a week now. So it's very, um, very variety, I guess you could say. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Man. I if I see I envy you because if I found a main game that I could get like 4000 people with, I would never stop playing it. But a division. I'd, uh, I'm probably Maybe. Gonna skip, I'm going to skip the beta and play City Skylines. Really? Ooh. Everyone's going to be playing the beta for the division, though. I mean, I'll, I'll probably like jump into it like after a day or two, but everyone's going to play it. So when you're me with like 500 viewers, you're like 45th in the list. I'll just go play City Skylines. <laughs> not, not much to miss out on. They have a new expansion coming out, so. 
Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> this is literally the first I'm hearing of this. Their new expansion comes out on the uh, the 18th, the same day the Division Beta comes out. Oh, which is why, oh my yeah, God. Which is why the toss-up for me. Yes, you just they, made Ian's, nope. like, yeah. He's like, oh, my He's God, like, I'm not coming into breathing. You know that, that, that meme? Yeah. Oh That's him goodness. right now. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I, I know that one. I can't stop playing City Sky. It's the reason I suck at Dota. Uh, even though I, I do a Dota show. That's the reason. <laughs> That's the reason. <laughs> That's the reason. Yeah, I'm really excited for The Division, but I, I probably can't stream it right now. But I know you're streaming it, so good luck with that, because that's going to be uh, hype. Yeah, it's going to be fun. But I mean, it's, it's always like a pain, right? When you play this beta, and even like Overwatch, you know you're putting like these hours into it, and you're unlocking things, and then it's like, thanks for playing! You don't get to keep any of that! Play it no. again and do it all over again when the game comes out. I'm like... <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. And you've already sunk like 400 hours into it, so by the time yeah. it releases, you're like, ah, oh, man, hello, hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they play it for like a week, and then, you know, we're gone. It's like that moment when you, like, play Pokemon for like... 24 hours and then forget to save the game before you oh, go to bed. Oh, God. You know that? The, have, you, no, have you got okay, those skills? Well, yeah. that's, uh, that's why you Done play on an emulator. <laughs> you, you have to play in an emulator and you just save state so when uh, Misty kicks your ass 20 times in a row, you just quick reload. And <laughs> yeah. I will not be denied. I'm not I going all that. the way back to the Pokemon Center. Damn it. I did that, but like in a different way. Like I on the, on the launch day of uh, Black Ops 3, I spent the morning downloading it for like three hours on stream talking with everyone. And um, something was wrong with the servers and they were like, oh, just try restarting the game. So I like opened it up on my PS4 and went to close it, but accidentally hit delete. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <Lord>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, well, oh, there's the rest of the stream downloading this. I feel like again. it's like, like when you make a house of cards. And you're like building it and building it and building it, and then like you accidentally <laughs> knock it over and you just go. Yeah. One. <laughs> like you have no choice but to yeah. just start going again. <laughs> like that's that's your only option. Have you guys ever read a uh, comic book? It's gonna be AMC series here, The Preacher. No. I've heard of it. No. I have not yet. Uh, uh, it, all right, it doesn't make sense to bring up. There's there's this one scene where okay, where a dude's supposed to count like every grain of sand on the beach. Like he just has to do it, and then just like some wave comes in and just ruins everything, and he's just in tears. It's just oh. anyway, it'll happen eventually. You'll remember this conversation. There's a lot seven of crying in this show. Look back, and I'll uh, be like, yeah, now I understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a deep cathartic moment. I, I, yeah, no, I, I get that. I I think I've heard of that. I've actually never read a comic in my it's, life. Dude, so, uh, pre you are missing amazing. out, my friend. Yeah, you know, there's lots of stuff out there. Yeah. They, you know, they say that about sex and good food, but I just. <laughs> 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 oh. oh God! Oh, as long as I've got <laughs> and with that, <laughs> and <I'm dead. laughs> well, I'm sorry about your job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh hey, it got like last week got just I. Just, oh yeah. I don't yeah, even know how to explain yeah. what happened last week, what do you but. Expect? But uh, I don't know if you've ever watched uh, Sonia and Ali's uh, Fuckboy Fridays. I have. But, yes, uh, I have. Yeah, that. Uh, they tried to explain one of the stories that came up from uh, that, and was it the zip popping one? No, it was, it was the squirt gun one. It was the squirt gun story. I haven't heard that one. Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah. You shan't I mean, we hear were, it today. We were, like, we were asking for it. Like, Squirt Gun Story, Fat Boy Fridays. Like, I yeah, should have thought about that one. Knew but, we were like, it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but what about this weird thing that people keep talking about? <laughs> what, is, what is this? And then, like, two what minutes, is this? Like, oh, God. It's cut, cut, cut. <laughs> restart. Restart. Yeah. This is live, right? We can retape this. <laughs> no. All right. One last question from chat. Uh, what was the, your biggest rage moment on stream? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, biggest? Biggest. Biggest rage moment. Oh, yeah, I got mine. Um, just, just, it, was the, it, was, it was Dark Souls 2, and there was just a, a, a four or five hour period where I was just trying to beat the one, like, uh, this one boss, or two, like the two bosses, S'mores and Ornstein, and and yeah. it was just really, really stressful. I, I must have, I'm not sure how my controller worked out, though. I threw my controller, stomped on the ground. It was absolutely ridiculous. But I, I was never <laughs> angrier than, than that moment. How about, how about you, Potato? That's where Swift Rage came from. Uh, not, not quite, but it's. Isn't that where Swift Rage came from? Wasn't that the. 
that's that's not the source. I've, I just have bad anger management. It's it's all over. Oh, the place. I, I literally <laughs> thought that was the like that was where oh. you know, Dark Souls won. I remember seeing that clip of you. That was like the legendary clip of Dark Souls one where you were like freaking out because of Ornstein and Smo. Those are dark times, man. They, they I mean, that's... like that. Fuck that game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously. I, you know what's funny is actually um, one of my my most like rage induced moments was Dark Souls one. I was doing a soul level one run um, and I was facing the four kings. Right. Uh, it was like the four bosses, all four of them. They attack you at the same time. I was doing like 20 damage to me. They were doing like 8,000 damage. <sighs> and so it was like a no block, like no parry, no healing run because I was a masochist. So I was like, it was basically like run in, you get hit, you die. And it took me like 14 hours to do it. So wow. I yeah, eventually, doing eventually, that, eventually I, I just like, you. I just like, I was like, I hate this game. Like, <laughs> but like when I when I get angry, like I don't rage. I just get really silent and like I just kind of sit there and just don't speak for an hour. So I, I just I, I realized like two hours had passed and I hadn't said a single word. <laughs> and my, my chat was just like ignoring me and this, you know shit talking me because I was terrible. But that was probably the angriest moment I've ever been on stream. Oh man. Oh, my God. So uh, one of the things that actually came up last week, uh, and this is something that Ali's been thinking about since the last TwitchCon, but she wants to make TwitchCon Dodgeball a thing oh, where that's... where all of the streamers can come together and, you know, fans and chat and everyone can, like, just belt balls at each other's faces, I guess. That sounded <laughs> really terrible, but yeah, <laughs> you get like what I mean. Sounds like already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a beautiful idea. That, that'd be great. Any so kind of like, sport uh, together, that would be awesome. We're trying, to, we're trying to make this a thing. So we've got TwitchCon, hashtag TwitchCon Dodgeball. That's we're gonna, was, we're gonna yeah. force Twitch mm -hmm. to make this happen, this Damn. TwitchCon. The ball's Let's in your make... court, and then it'll be in your face. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> I mean, hey, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> be the first time. <laughs> Let's make that on the last day of TwitchCon, just 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 in case. Yeah, just right in case. Everyone yeah. dead <laughs> and sick and like you know somebody who's got like the Pax Pox and licks their hand and like stick it to the ball and they, they <laughs> smash you right in the face. Some say that's how the like, zombie outbreak began. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be perfect though if it's on the last day. Then we've got the Twitch party and we can all just go drunk, go get drunk, yeah, and true. then just. We won't be able to feel our faces. There you so go. So it'll be perfect. It's Ask like, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Drunk dodgeball would be interesting. I pretty don't know. I, oh, God. I'm pretty sure I don't like know about 10, that one. 10 deaths would happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Waivers no. from everybody before we begin. Yeah. Yeah. NDAs, <laughs> you know, liability papers. And, <laughs> and people ask, you know, people saw selling us. life insurance outside of the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 They're scalping life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need your first, but first six month premium upfront. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it to your grandmother. I promise. <laughs> All righty, guys. I think that's it for us today. Uh, we'd like to thank you both for coming on. Uh, thank you for having thank us. I had so a great time. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Blast. Now, uh, next week, we will be back. Um, I will actually be in Australia, so I will be doing it via Skype. Ian will probably be here in the uh, studio by himself, like Alona. <sighs> <laughs> and we will be announcing next week's guests very, very soon. But to uh, Botato and Swifter, again, thank you very much. And thank you to Chat for uh, stopping by and partying with us. <laughs>